Hello and welcome to another tutorial about GUIs or GUIs. Right, so this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to open a shop. Okay, so let's get started. First you need to insert your screen GUI which I showed you last tutorial. Okay, now that we've got that there we can enter our, where was it, button. Here we go. Uh, okay, so this is going to be the button that's going to open our shop. Now, you can design it however you want. Um, remember to use the scale uh, thing. Uh, 0 0.1 scale by by another 0 0.1. Let's see if that works. Oh, that looks good. And I'm going to scale it down about, about halfway down the screen. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so if you don't know how to like use the position or size, then I have shown you that in the first uh, GUI tutorial, um, so you should check that out. Anyways, so I'm going to call this, uh, I'm going to say open. Okay, so let's insert now uh, a frame for the shop. So the frame here, which is going to hold all of our buttons that it's in the shop. Okay, so um, again, change the size of that uh, to however big you want it. So I'm going to make it that big, uh, scale it into the middle of the screen, or somewhere near the middle of the screen, that's good enough. And I'm going to change its colour, by just going to background colour, change background colour to something good. Uh, that doesn't really look that good, but oh well. Uh, and I'm going to call the frame, now I always call the main frame inside my uh, shop GUI, I always call it main. Um, make sure you to give your uh, objects some meaningful names. So I've called my uh, screen GUI shop, my frame as main. Uh, I could actually call it main shop. Let's call it that. Okay. And my button as uh, actually no, let's call it button. Yeah, oh, that's good. Okay, so my button is called button. Uh, yeah, button. I could call it open and close button, but that's too long. I'll just call it button. And uh, now let's quickly get some buttons inside the shop itself. So uh, item one, I'm not actually going to script the buttons to make them give you items. I'm probably going to be showing you that next tutorial. Um, this tutorial, I just want to show you how to actually open the shop, uh, how to actually open and close the shop. Okay, so um, let me just scale this. Point one, uh, point one. Yeah, that looks good. And right, I'll keep it white. I'm not going to waste time changing the color. Text item one. Okay, so if you want to change the text of the button, just go to the text bit here. Okay, so there's name, which changes the actual name in your workspace, and then there's text, which changes the text on the button, the text that you ac you can actually see. Okay. Uh, I don't want to make this tutorial too long, so I'm actually trying to rush this little bit here so we can get to the scripting. Uh, I'm only going to put like three buttons in here, so don't worry. I'm not going to take too long. Right, so item two. Let's change, change the name. In fact, I'm only going to put two buttons because I can't bother to put three. Right, so if we go to button, uh, let's change the text to open and go to the main shop. Click on the main shop frame and go to where it says visible and uncheck that box so we don't want to see it anymore we're not going to see the frame yet until the user clicks the open button okay but when the user clicks the open button nothing happens at the moment as there is no script inside there so let's add a script awesome so if you remember the event which i might do uh, script dot parent dot mouse button one click uh, connect function okay if you don't know what I'm doing at the moment then you should watch some of my other tutorials because I do explain all of this sort of stuff in my other tutorials uh, in my advanced section so um, anyway so once we've got our event set up let's start to change the shops visible uh, property now we could just say uh, main frame equals actually no let's call it main shop equals script dot parent dot parent so script dot parent dot parent dot main 
sharp. We could just say that, um, and then say main if main sharp dot visible equals false, then um, oops, what am I doing? But too many ends. Uh, and also I've forgotten equals. Okay, so if main shop dot visible equals equals false, then main shop dot visible equals true and script dot parent dot text equals close. So um yeah this what this is doing is it's saying if the shop is not visible, if it's not open then what we're going to do is we're going to make it open by setting the visible property of this main shop frame to true and we're also going to change the text on the button to close because now that the shop is open we want the button to say to say close so that the user knows that if they click that button they're going to close the shop we don't want the button to stay as open because the shop's already open and we want the option to close the button uh, to close the shop now so what this is going to do is just going to open the shop okay if the shop's closed, open it. Now we need an else if. Actually, no, we don't really need an else if because the only other um, option for this visible property to be is for true. So if it's not false, if the main shop dot visible is not false, so if it's open, then when we click it, we want the shop to close equals false. So we're going to set the main shop dot visible property to false and we're going to say script dot parent dot text equals open so now we've opened well not open but we've uh, closed the shop and we've set the text on the button to open so that now the user knows when they click the button it will open the shop okay so let's test this out hopefully this works on my first go because normally things don't actually work on the first go Normally it takes a bit of editing, but I'll just start a player. I'll be quite happy if it works on the first go, because then the tutorial can be shorter. Right, let's test it. Open, yes, close. There we go. Look at that. It opens and it closes. So you see how the text on the button is open when I click it. The shop opens and then the text clo changes to close. Now when I click it, the shop closes and the text changes to open. Okay, so let's just go back to the code for me to explain it once more. Um, so inside our event, mouse button one click. So when I click onto the uh, shop, when I left click onto the shop uh, button, onto the button, what it's going to do is it's going to set this little variable here, main shop, to the frame. Okay. So this is now the frame. This variable here is the frame of the shop. And it's going to say if the visible property of that frame is false, so if you can't see the frame, if it's closed, if the shop's not there, then we're going to make it uh, appear onto the screen by setting the visible property to true. And then we're going to change the text on the button to close because the shop's open, so we want the option to close it now. And um, else, if the main shop the visible is not false which means it must be true then we're going to set it to false so we're going to close the shop if it's already open and we're going to set the uh, text on the button to open okay so yeah that was a really quick tutorial just showing you how to open and close a shop in the next tutorial I will be teaching you how to actually code these um, these buttons in the shop so say you want uh, you want someone to have at least like 100 cash to buy a new sword for your game. Um, then when they click the button, it will give them the sword and it will take away 100 cash. Uh, I'm going to be explaining that next tutorial. You can give it a go though. Um, give it a go, see how well you can code it. And uh, then I'll show you my way of coding it in the next tutorial. Okay. Right, so yeah, I'll see you in the next tutorial then. Bye.